G'day guys, welcome to Great Boat Cooking and Camping. Hey, got some shirts. If you want some shirts, in the link below. Hey, we're a channel that uh, does everything around cooking and camping. So from slow cooks to, to fry ups to anything, uh, but also camping and how we cook when we're camping and what we do when we, we're, we're out in the bush. So, hey, if you like that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video and get us going through the YouTube algorithm, that'd be really great. Today, we're just gonna look at three of the stoves that I've got. Well, you'd call it probably two stoves and a, and a little hot plate, but it's an induction cooker. Just an Audi brand, this thing's Ambiano. Um, about six, 60, 70 dollars from Audi. The Coleman Even Temp Stove and the Coleman Dual Fuel 533. Now, if you want to check out my reviews on these two stoves, just make sure you click the links that are just going to come up in the top of the um, screen now. Today, we're going to use a Zebra Billy and we are going to boil one litre of water on each of these stoves and we're going to test out how long it takes. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, see which one wins. I don't know, maybe you can put some votes down. Now, um, in the comments, leave a comment, make sure you like the video. Let's check it out. So for each of the boil ups, we're going to measure exactly one litre of water using the measuring cup. I'm going to tip it in the boil billy and the water is just at room temperature. Spill it everywhere. And it just about, probably half fills that billy, so that's a good level. It's probably what you're going to do. A few cups of tea. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use the Coleman Dual Fuel and we'll get a different camera angle for that one and go from there. Because this takes a bit, takes a bit of setting up. Okay, so here's our Coleman Dual Fuel stove. It, it is got unleaded in it at the moment. I'll just give it some pump. Should be enough for us to start it up. Any stove, start your match first. Start your stove second. Vicky, sometimes, just gotta give it a few more pumps to get that pressure through. You can see that's got a lot bluer now. Right. Well, let's get our water off and our timer started. Can we use the iPhone timer today? Set it up in the camera shot. So you can see Early on, I'll start with a topic on here while we wait. Stop the clock. Four minutes and twelve seconds. Good healthy boil there. Fantastic. Alright, let's move on to the even temp. So between each shot we ran the billy under some cold water. So it took all the residual heat out of the billy before we went on to the next test. Just so there wasn't any extra heat to you know make the uh, results uneven. So next litre of water into the billy. There, and 
put it on the common dual fuel. Ah, sorry. And we'll put it onto the common even temp. Okay, time started. Interesting because I thought it would be quicker than the dual fuel stove. I think the induction is going to take it out though, but let's just wait and see. Alright, we're going to tip this water out, cool the billy down, and go for another litre. Okay, so final test. As you can see, cold billy on the induction stove. One litre of water. Let's time review. So the thing, the time, sorry, it's got a beat is 4.12. Um, even temp did it in 5.37. Now, induction, better plug it in. Eh? Okay, turn it on. I'll just turn it on fry. Flat out, start the timer. safely call that a boil and we have a winner see how instant that heat goes away it's just that heat is just so instant with your induction stove watch this amazing three minutes and six seconds There you go. Did you pick the right one? I had my money on the induction, but I did not think that this little stove would be faster than this one. So, when you, when you weigh it all up, a litre of water, 4 minutes and 12, 5.38, correct me in the, um, I'll put the times up on the screen here, 3 minutes and 6. So, the only problem you got is, if you're on power, fantastic. This is your go-to for boiling water every day of the week. If you're not on power, you've probably got to have about a $5,000 battery system, inverter system all set up to run that for three minutes to boil your water. Or you can tip 
500 mil of unleaded fuel into the Coleman 533 and wait a minute more. Right. Cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry there hasn't been too many videos coming out at the moment, but flat out with work. Getting out next weekend, so we'll get some cook-ups done and we'll get some videos to you very soon. Enjoy. Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.